All right, just going to do a video slash warning about how unrepentant sins will find you out and that you can't hide unrepentant sins forever. Now, I'm not saying that from a standpoint that well, I'm, I'm just so perfect and pure. No, I still have my struggles. I still fall. I still stumble. Okay, but when you have unrepentant sins and you're trying to hide them, they will find you out eventually. I'm going to show you that from the scriptures. So first, turn in your King James Bibles to Numbers chapter 32 and verse number 23 says but if ye will not do so behold ye have sinned against the Lord and be sure your sin will find you out you see when you sin against God you can try to cover your sins you can try to hide them but they will find you out eventually and you will be caught eventually some more scripture on that Proverbs chapter 28 and verse number 13 Turn there in the King James Bible. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. Hmm. Like, if we shall confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness in 1 John 1.10. You see, when you when try to cover your sins, you're not going to prosper. You're going to you're going to get caught. But when you confess your sins to God and forsake them, it's done. It's over with. Your sins are confessed. They are forsaken. But when you try to cover them, God's going to expose them, and they will be found out. You can't hide them forever. Psalms uh, 90 verse number eight. Turn there. Psalms 90 verse number eight. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins, in the light of thy countenance. Okay? Your iniquities, he you put, you do in secret, your secret sins, they're going to be brought to light. Okay? Whether you're saved or you're lost. At, when you're lost, you'll be going to the judgment seat of Christ. It's not the judgment seat, sorry. You'll be going to the great white throne. When you're saved, you'll be going to the judgment seat. When you're lost, you'll be going to the great white throne. And you're going to have all your dirty laundry shown to everyone. But when you're saved, you're going to go to the judgment seat of Christ and have all your evil works burned up. You see, if you live in sin and mortify the flesh and glorify and basically feed the flesh the whole, your whole life, you're going to have a bonfire going off beside you, essentially, of all the wood, hay, and stubble. And then maybe when you get your reward, it might just be maybe a single gold coin, you know, something like that. Or it might just be maybe, like, you know, here, here you go, have this gold coin or just have this piece of gold or whatever, you know, that kind of thing. But when you... Uh, live according to the spirit when you live holy obviously you're going to get more rewards but your secret sins you try to hide they're going to be brought to light okay you can't hide them forever i keep saying that but like it says thou hast set our iniquities before thee there's no point trying to hide your sins luke chapter 12 and verse number two to three Oops, hit the wrong chapter. Luke chapter 12, verse number 2 to 3. For there is nothing covered that shall, not, that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Therefore whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which ye have spoken in the ear of the closets shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. Very sober and warning about that. Whatever you speak in darkness, all the dirty profanity or that kind of stuff, all the dirty jokes you say in darkness, they're going to be brought to light. Some more scripture that ties into that. Turn to Luke chapter 8 and verse number 17. Luke chapter 8 verse number 17. For there is nothing secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Okay? When you're, especially if you're in a position of an elder, which I'm not an elder, I'm not a preacher, I'm not a teacher. Okay? I just make videos on the internet. That's all I do. But not just for elders, but really any Christian in general. Okay, when you try to cover your sins, they're going to be brought to light. They're going to come abroad. There's nothing. What does it say? There's nothing secret that should not be made manifest. Okay, your secret sins will be made manifest before all. Whether you're, whether you're elder or just a Christian or whatever. Okay, your secret sins will be made manifest. Your sin will find you out eventually. Okay, you can hide them, but you can't hide them forever. Okay. Because God knows your heart. It's that simple. 
and when you confess your sins, like it says in Proverbs 28, what does it say? Uh, Proverbs 28, 13, when you confess your sins, okay, you forsake them, then it's done. It's over with, okay? But when you try to hide them, God's going to blow the, the lid off it and you're going to be exposed because God exposes sin. God doesn't tolerate sin in the life of a Christian and neither should the Christian. So it's a sober warning about not trying to h cover and hide your unrepentant sins. Whether you're watching pornography in the dark, whether you're secretly engaging in fornication behind your wife's back, you can't hide it forever. It will be found out eventually. And it's not, again, it's not an if, if it's found out. No, will it will be found out. It's not an if, it's not a matter of, of oh, it could be found out. No, it's a matter of it will be found out eventually. So just a sobering warning about hiding unrepentant sins. Uh, don't do it. It will be found out. You will be caught and you will be penalized with, with whatever punishments God decides to penalize you with, obviously, because you're his, his son and he chastises you. He'll chasten you. Read about that in Hebrews chapter 12, verses 5 to 8. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.